Kyle on our way to Bunnings. We've got Emily, ZZ in the car, Noah, and little Aiden in the car. So to go and get a range hood for the um, 900 watt stove we have. And I'll show you how to uh, install that and put that up uh, when we get back. So almost to Bunnings. And uh, yeah, we'll give a bit of a uh, review of it after too. Okay. Put the range hood up, eh? Yeah. yeah. You can't go to Bunnings without a sausage, can ya? Yeah. Ah, yeah, ten dollars each. And here we are, just loading some chip rock for the rumpus room walls and ceiling. Let's just lay the note on. We got our range hood, a couple of chairs for the babes, some concrete surfacer, <laughs> and just a off comp tin of paint. So here we go. Just grabbing some jip rock, also known as drywall. How many more are you getting? Ten bills for now. Yeah, it gets us started, it's a heavy load. Here is the range hood we purchased. Going to be installing it above the stove there. Going to be putting a splashboard on, which is sitting over here at the moment, freshly painted uh, the other day. So I'm going to be gluing that on and putting the uh, the range hood up. I'll uh, do a review uh, video of the range hood uh, after install. So see how we go. Deciding on the height for your uh, range hood. The suggested height is between 60 centimeters and 75 centimeters above the stove top. So, or 24 inches to 30 inches imperial.
just going to be gluing it on. Just going to put a couple of screws into the wall. Make sure that that's level.
Okay, here's the range hood all installed. I've got to install a power point up in the ceiling behind the cover there. Um, and we'll paint and put the stove in. Okay guys, that's the range hood uh, fully installed. Um, here it is. So stove's in place. Uh, still got to put the power point in. So that's something else I've got to do. Um, so if you uh, liked the video, please uh, hit like and subscribe. It would be great too. Uh, thank you very much and have a good night.